He didn't talk about the Super Bowl. That's crazy. Yeah. What'd you think? I didn't care. I played a video game the whole time. You didn't watch it? <laughs> no. You didn't watch it all? No. Nope. You nope. a cat, bro? Nope. 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 Why you didn't want to watch I the was game? Watching, I was playing Last of Us. I got Last of Us, the video game. Oh. That shit was fucking incredible. I wonder, have you been watching that show yet? My wife watches it all oh, the time. Oh, it's so good. I wonder how many people have got gone back to the video game because of the TV show. I'm one. Wow. And the video game is fucking exceptional. Really? I haven't played video games in 15 years. It's on PlayStation 1 and PlayStation, shit? yeah. Wow. And I, and I got locked in nonstop playing. You bought a PlayStation just for that one. game. Now, my wife, this was the dumbest move on her part. She wanted to play the Hogwarts, the new uh, the new Harry Potter game. Yeah. She's a huge Harry Potter fan. She's like, so, so can we get a PlayStation? And I was like, fine. And then I downloaded that Last of Us. <laughs> And then I was playing that shit so much, she almost threw it out the fucking window. I was up until four in the morning every night, <laughs> waking her up by smashing the square button. Yeah. Like, I was locked into this What is game. it about? Uh, Zombies, right? Yeah, but it's kind of cool, the zombie, the zombie scenario. Basically, all right, so right now there are these things called cordyceps. I'm probably mispronouncing them. And uh, this exists in real life now. And mm -hmm. what they do is they're a fungus that infects insects. And they take over the insect's body and make the insect do whatever the fuck they want with it. So the insect just stops living and it just becomes a shell for these cordyceps. Yeah. And people are like, well, why can't they live in human beings? And it's like, because the temperature inside an insect is much lower than a human being. Mm -hmm. The temperature inside a human being is 97.8 or whatever it is, yeah. 98.7. So they just can't live on us, right? But, and this is the concept for the show, the plot of the show, with global warming, Ooh. maybe these fungi now are able to survive in hotter temperatures because uh. the earth is warming. And what's a hotter temperature than an insect? A human body. So they start infecting humans and taking over the human body. So the time I was watching it with my wife and I saw these two dudes tongue kissing the fuck out of that each other. That is one of the most beautiful episodes you'll ever see in television history. So, but that wasn't two humans. Third episode. It was one infected by insects? No, none. <laughs> those, those are still humans. They're just still humans. <laughs> All right. So they, that, that was actually two gay people. Yeah, that was. Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't know. I just thought, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I never knew the plot no, of the no, show. No, no. It's just a gay relationship that's like a, a non sequitur part of it, but it's really the best episode in television history. Really? One of the best. Like, I, I, literally, I'm, I'm messaging uh, some of my buddies, like, represent the people who made the show. And I'm messaging them at the beginning of the episodes, the third episode. It's basically about this relationship with these two guys that are living in the apocalypse, right? Mm -hmm. And um, and I, the first message I see, I see that they're like a gay couple and I'm like, here Hollywood goes with this fucking bullshit trying to inject the woke narrative and everything, right? Like 15, la 15 minutes later, I'm messaging them like, hold on, this shit kind of good. And then 30 minutes after that, I'm, I go, I'm crying. <laughs> I was crying by the end. Of, and it was this beautiful, relatable love story that had, it, it, yeah, they were gay, but that wasn't the thing that they were trying to project. It was two people in love trying to survive. Were they gay or bored, bro? You said it's the post-apocalyptic. <sighs> so if, what if all the women are infected with insects? You know no, what no, I mean? No, no. Infected with the virus. Infected with oh, the, infect, uh, infected with the virus. Yeah, not insects. <laughs> it, it, it exists. Infected in with insects. the virus. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. What if there's no women around? What if y'all just bored? Like, no, that could happen too. Yeah. And I'm sure that does happen. Yeah, but uh, but no, these guys were gay. Wow. Because it was one dude who was totally fine living by himself. He was like one of these doomsday preppers. Yeah, until it, that, until that, until that ass came in there. And then, right? That's right. Right. And there's a scene where they're like on top of each other, and their oh, chest all that. hairs I just like rubbing into one another. It's wild. Really? Yeah. yeah. The ass of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last of bus, as in bussy. <laughs> Oh, that didn't go in? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was shooting, man. Yeah, you got to shoot. You got to shoot. shoot. You got to shoot. shoot. Uh, I thought it was Rihanna's best performance. Oh, come on. I thought it was one of her. <laughs> this guy's a fucking... <laughs> oh, well, let, me, let me give it some context. Um, I was nervous for Rihanna going into this. Because you knew? I mean, Rihanna's never been like a phenomenal live performer. We know this. Like, like this, <sighs> isn't, this isn't... News to anybody, like you know, what I mean, she's, 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 she's just Rihanna. Like she's the coolest person in the room. Like you're just happy to be looking at Rihanna. Mm. You know what I mean? But you, we, 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 we've never, like she, she performs like a rapper to me. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why I said to me this was her best performance because they produced it very well. Like they, they, they knew what her strengths are, and they knew what her weaknesses were. In pregnancy or not, I think that they just put together a great production like all the dancers the set looked great she looked great 
You know what I mean? They kept the vocals. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming she was lip syncing. I don't know. You know what I mean? But it was a, it was a, it was to me. This was her, one of her best live shows. Mm. To me, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's a hot take, my boy. That's a hot take. One of her best shows, Rihanna. I'm not comparing it to nobody. Have you seen her live show before? Yes. Oh, you've gone in person. No, no, I've never. Have I gone to a Rihanna show in person? I don't think so. What, no, they did like remember. an HBO special or something like that? No, I did. No, no, I did see Rihanna in person. I saw Rihanna in person one time. I don't remember when. I feel like it was in Philly years ago, though. I don't remember. Never like a VMA or something like that? Bro, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all, man, <laughs> no, I mean, like, y'all need to Google, y'all need to Google Rihanna at the 2016 BMAs. Why? That's all I'm going to tell y'all. <laughs> Google her at the 2016 BMAs and watch that performance. I remember her getting killed for that performance. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? I remember her, I remember people being overly critical of Rihanna and her live performances. because it got to a point where you didn't have nothing else to talk, talk, talk about her about. Mm. You know what I mean? It was like, she's, Flawless in every other way. Everybody loves Rihanna. So the only thing people would critique her about was her shows. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know. So you basically went into this going, I'm not expecting Beyonce. I'm not expecting Michael Jackson. And then you had low expectations. And then you saw that the way that they crafted the performance, you're I, like, oh, I, this was really cool what they did. I didn't have I didn't have low expectations. I just, oh, that, that was a dope show too, though. I remember this one. But uh, um, the, 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 the 2016 VMAs was a dope performance. But yeah, I didn't have, I mean, it was, I didn't have no expectations, yo. I just didn't. Hmm. What do you say about the reaction to it? Uh, I think people were being overly critical just because it, that's the era that we live in. You know uh... what I'm saying? I, I, I think people were being overly critical just because that's the era that we live in. Uh, people love, they, they look at Rihanna. She's a billionaire now. Like, yo, do we understand we live to tear successful people down? Yeah, we do. Like, nobody was going to walk away from this performance. Rihanna could have sang like Adele and danced like Beyonce, and nobody was going to walk away from this performance and be like, man, she killed that. That's not what we do. Yeah. That's why when people like Rihanna decide to stay away from music forever and just make their money off of, you know, selling makeup, I'm not mad at them. I thought she always lip synced. <laughs> well, that's why some people lip sync. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she, listen... To me, she before like that that performance right there at the Super Bowl halftime show. It reminded me of a uh, of a Jay Z performance because there was a time when people and Jay Z will probably admit this himself. Like he was not a great performer compared to the Busta Rhymes of the world right. and the DMXs. You know what I mean? But he found a way to take his cool, curate it, and then translate and, and translate it on stage in, yeah. in in a way that was dope. And to me, that's what she did. To me, yeah. yeah. That is an interesting point about Jay-Z. Instead of trying to, like, compete with the DMXs or the Buster Rhymes in terms of, like, energy or charisma on stage, he found a way to do it by being subtle. I remember seeing him live and feeling that way. Yeah. That's what Rihanna did to me. Yeah. Rihanna was the coolest person in the room, just doing enough. She ain't got to... Just doing enough. Let the dancers do all the real work. Yeah. Get a little butterfly here and there, you know what I mean? Like, it was, it was, it was cool to me. Yeah. Are you... Okay, here's... Do you think her being pregnant actually was to her advantage uh, in that people can go, yeah, she wasn't being so dynamic up there because she's pregnant. No, not if you've been, if you've been watching Rihanna all of these years. I'm saying for the people who haven't. Well, they're lying to themselves. I mean, yeah, they can use that, as, but they're lying to themselves. Like, ah, okay. like that's like, she would have, she would have did that same performance if she wasn't pregnant. That's what I'm saying. So it was to her advantage that she was. I didn't even, I mean, the pregnancy, uh, hey, I, I guess, yeah. I can see why people say that, but to me, with or without the pregnancy, that was a one of Rihanna's best live performances that I've seen. Mm. Personally, that was one of my personal favorites. I I, I loved it though. I mean, I loved every, I love I love watching everybody jump out the window. Why do we tear people down? Why do we build people jealousy, up and tear them down, and enviousness, and don't want to admit it? And then how do we? How do people avoid that from happening? How do you, you stop can't. that? You just can't. You have to accept it as part of the game. You can't. There's nobody that everybody loves universally. Yeah. And even when they, even, the more people love you, the more people are going to hate you. Because we live in this world where everybody wants to be a contrarian. Think about it. Everybody got a podcast. Mm. Everybody got a YouTube page. Yeah. Everybody got a blog. So what do you have to have when you have those things? A fucking opinion. Yeah. So if everybody got the opinion of, ah, oh, Rihanna did her thing. Let me just take the opposite stance huh, just because. There's some attention there. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's the world we live in. Like, we live in the age of opinions for sure. 
Never have there been this much access to different opinions in the history of the world. And, and not just opinions, opinions that people can be rewarded for. And I'm putting rewarded in air quotes because rewarded yeah. to them is getting reposted on Shade Room. Now, you know what I mean? Could someone say that <coughs> you're doing this as well by having the opposite opinion of everybody else on the Rihanna performance? No, because I feel like my opinion is rooted in uh, what I've seen and what I've seen throughout right. the years. And you're saying theirs is rooted in attention. It's not really what they feel, no. but what they know that they can say to get attention. Because if I was seeking attention, I would have said from the beginning, I'm nervous about Rihanna's performance. <laughs> you God, know what I mean? you when God. they announced it, I'd have been like, oh, man, I don't know, yo. Yeah, yeah, and I'd have been pointing out all of the different times we've seen Rihanna not be the best on stage. You know what mm. I mean? But I don't, I, don't, you know, I don't want her to not succeed. Did you find that happen with you? Like on your way up, everybody really excited for you. And then once you guys get to the top, did you feel like there was more hate? Uh, No, I think it's always been 50-50. But I oh, think really? that... I think that what we tend to do is pay attention only to what we want to hear. You know what I mean? What satisfies our what satisfies perception you. of Absolutely. self. Absolutely. And that's, but that's why dangerous because if you have negative very. perception of self, then you're going to listen to all the negative stuff. If you have positive perception of self, maybe you'll only listen to the positive. You have to have like a very balanced no, perspective. You don't listen to any of it. And if you do listen yeah. to it, I always remember what my dad said. You're yeah. never as good as they say you are, and you're never as bad as they say you are. My guy, yeah. Cadillac Jack, salute to Cadillac Jack, another great mentor of mine in this radio game. Rule of 10. Three people are going to like it. Three people are not going to like it. Four people don't even give a fuck. Mm -hmm. Four people just sitting around waiting to see what everybody else thinks. There's that great quote. Uh, uh, you would care. You wouldn't care so much what people think of you if you realize how little they did. We be in our own heads, in our own bubbles. That's why social media is so dangerous, yo. Social media will have you thinking you got an audience. Because it's 10 people that tweet you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm true. saying? Or, or it's five people that leave a comment on one of your videos or something. Like, like yeah. you, you really think all of a sudden you got this huge audience and everybody gives a fuck about what you got to say. That shit, I've seen that shit drive a lot of people mad. Really? That's what we need to start talking about. How that, I haven't come up with the term for it or... or, or what it is, but it's a disease Which is? that is driving people mad. That shit you're talking about with the insects taking over people's bodies? That's what attention is. That's what this new era is of all of this shit. Yeah. Whether, yeah. The, whether it's the YouTube podcast or being a, 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 a social media influencer, influencer like yeah. that shit gets to you. Your opinions start being derived from what people are saying online. Yeah. Yo, nothing pisses me off more because I'm the type of person, I'm aware of everything, even though I might, I might acknowledge nothing, mm. right? So I pay attention. There's nothing worse than talking to a person and they're repeating a bunch of things they saw on social media. And you know you, you know they got it from social media. Yeah. And all you got to do is ask them, well, why you think like that? Yeah, yeah. They have no reason. Yeah. yeah. They have no reason behind why they think like that because all you did was see somebody saying on social media, now you're running with it. Yeah. But why do you feel that way? They yeah. don't even know. They just ran with it because it sounds good. That yeah. shit is annoying. They got the playbook on that on that idea. They got the playbook on that theory and it's, they just ran with all the talking points. You see that in politics a lot. I guess we expect it in politics, but we don't expect it in just like random culture and to see people just, yeah, hop on it. Wow. Yeah, that's tricky. Yeah. So yeah, you so hate what it. Is I, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking all that to say you hated Rihanna's performance is what you're saying. No, I didn't watch it. And then when I saw it, I was like, okay, it's fine. I, I, I wasn't like blown away by it. But uh, I, I, I think that there was a lot more hate than was necessary. I wonder what they were expecting. I guess I had maybe a similar expectation from you. Like, I, I thought the cool thing about Rihanna was her vibe. And I thought that that's her it. energy, and that's what people are so drawn to, not necessarily her, like, dancing prowess. So, pardon? They dismissed. Okay, guy, guy. Let me so, tell you something about Rihanna. Yeah. Some people just are stars, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> some people are just natural born superstars. Some people just got it. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 Rihanna is the type. Somebody was telling this story the other day. I forgot who it was, but they were saying how they were in the lobby of Def Jam years ago when Rihanna had. I think I don't even know if Ponder Replay was out yet, but they was like when she walked through the lobby, everybody was turning like, "Yo, who is that? Who is that? Who is that?" Some people just got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why I hate when people say things like, "Oh, you're not ugly." You know, you just broke. No. 
You ugly? Yeah. You know what <laughs> you I'm saying? You could be both. Because Rihanna, <laughs> this, this person right here was this person always. Right. I'm, she's always been this version of herself. Right. You know what I mean? It's just that she's constantly grown, constantly evolved. She's the coolest person in the room. She got an energy. She got a vibe. You can't fake that shit, man. Mm. That's why even with the, the, the debate that about this Vogue cover is so stupid to me. What's the debate? All right. People are saying this is uh, an agenda to emasculate the black man. You know what I mean? Mm. As if you've never been a man holding your child, walking behind your Yo, black other. dudes can't win, bro. <laughs> you, you, you in your kid's life, you holding your baby, it's like you emasculate. Like, how would you want this cover? Rocky's not there? First of all, Rocky's it, nowhere to be found? First, this has nothing to do with agenda. This is about star power. Mm -hmm. It's Rihanna, bro. Yeah, Rihanna did the Super Bowl, not Rocky. <laughs> and Rihanna's a superstar. Yeah. Like, not, so two things. Rihanna's a superstar. So she's going to be on the front cover in that position regardless. And, hey, man, I want my child and my, 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 my you know, soon-to-be husband on the front cover of Vogue with me. Yeah. Boom. Right. That's what superstars do. Also, if you're a husband, why would you be upset at holding your kid? This is just... It's unbelievable. Yo, it's hard. Yo, you know, I never realized this until right now. It's kind of hard to be black, man. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know we've been doing this, Bob, for yeah. about a decade, and we've it's spoken a, about a lot of Vogue topics. Cover that makes you feel <laughs> like it's the Vogue cover that let yeah, me know yeah, that it's kind of yeah, hard yeah, to be a yeah, black yeah, dude, yeah. dude. Now, it is interesting with ASAP, though. ASAP, you know, ASAP got a lot of flack when he first started, because everybody was like, oh, you know, he's from New York, but he sounds like he's from down south. Then they gave him flack because he was, uh, they, they say he would wear dresses, right? And then, you, you know, you see things with ASAP, like uh, he, went to, he went to jail in Sweden, right? Think about this, right? There's nothing ASAP can do to win people over, right? Because all of this shit that allegedly makes you real, <laughs> he's done. Yeah. He went to jail. Right now, he's facing charges of shooting somebody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, yeah, yeah. it's like, I thought that was the shit that y'all liked. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought that was the shit that y'all said made against him. Yeah. You know what so I mean? So what, what do you think they just don't like about him? That he's winning. Uh, he's with Rihanna. Yeah. Like, yeah. bro, he's with Rihanna. Yeah. He won. There's nothing y'all can say to ASAP Rocky. That man is, and forget the fact that he's with Rihanna. This man is with a beautiful woman that he's raising a family with, yeah. you can look at him and tell he's happy. Yeah. Is that not the essence of life, bro? Yeah. Is that not what success should be about? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that not it? I could care less if they was worth $500. They are happy. That's a, all I see is a happy couple on the front of Vogue magazine. Yeah. If you see something else, something's wrong with you, bro. Yeah. Like you ain't never held your child and walked behind the woman you love. Nope. Because you ain't got kids yet. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And people act like it's a problem with a woman being in front. What if she knows where she's going? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm I can't. Like, like, what if I don't know where I'm going? And I'm following my woman. Yeah. Or what if she forgot where she parked her car? And then you guys are just looking for it. That's I'm following my, my woman. Yeah. I think there's a lot of times where a woman will walk in front. I don't mind my woman walking in front. I never even think about stuff. Like, stuff like that don't even... Cross yeah. my mind, like I, I don't like it when we're walking and then she makes like a turn somewhere without letting me know. Well, get off your phone and pay attention. No, I'm paying attention. Okay, but like we're just walking and she mid sentence, she'll just make the left. And you and gotta say where you on going. I'd be like, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I know is, man, if I think sometimes my wife thinks I'm I'm the dog a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, like You're not the dog, you're just the man. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but like that is weird. Like you gotta like nudge me and yeah. be like, we're turning left yeah, here. Yeah, that is. Uh, like, I'm halfway through the crosswalk, and then sometimes just because I'm so frustrated. You're giving dogs too much credit. You got to give a dog a little a little pull when you want. Pull me! Yeah. <laughs> pull me! <laughs> sometimes just out of being pure stubbornness, I'll walk the other way. And I'll be like, well, I'll meet you at home. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to follow you around fucking Soho. The fuck I look like a golden doodle to you? I need a nudge, or I need some sort of acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah. wife will just be walking. Mid sentence, yeah. So I think maybe we should look into maybe going on safari and then just turn that way. Yeah. Now I get it. That's an asshole thing to do, right? <laughs> Is that not? Not if y'all walking to together. Just expect that I'm just like looking at her fucking head the entire time we're walking, I, just in I, case she I, moves. I, the reason I don't think so is because if y'all walking together, clearly y'all have a destination in mind, right? Yeah, but there's different ways to get to the destination. So if she makes the right, just make the right with her. 
I, if I don't know she's making a right, now I walk three steps and, duh, 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 and I got to go back. Pay attention. How about an acknowledgement? You want her to hold your hand like Rihanna was holding ASAP's hand? Yeah. Okay, I'm with that. Nothing wrong with that. Or just follow me where the fuck we're going. <laughs> what if you don't know where you're going? Then we're going to get there late. <laughs> I just think the fuck we need nah, to be early to everything. To put bro. the little leashes on you that they put the little. On I'm little okay with that. Hilarious. I'm okay with that. I just I just think that if a magazine cover threatens your manhood in any way, shape, or form, you're not much of a man, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wait. A minute. Why was was ASAP upset? It no. no. Just people was upset saying it was a. Can you grab me a water? Emasculating the man. Nah, but that's just this. Like, yeah. I think I think men. I think are a little bit. Sensitive right now to emascula emasculation. 